hello and welcome to another video by security guide um, in this video I want to show you how you can um, set up a port forwarding on your um, Virgin Media Super Hub um, the first thing you need to do is first uh, to open the um, an Internet Explorer or Chrome um, and then type the um, IP address of local IP address of your um, Super Hub um, on, on mine it is 196192 uh, um, is normally written um, on a sticker on the router and um, the username and password should be there as well so now I've typed this here on the address bar of the Chrome and by pressing enter it brings us to the um, login page so I type my login information and this is the first uh, the home page of the uh, super hub um, after you log in there are three main buttons here and one advanced setting button which we need to click on and then under the security section there is one option called port, port forwarding click on that and it brings you to the uh, area that you can set up the service <clears throat> and the rules and um, which ports you want to open and uh, point it to which device or IP under that port there are some uh, default ports here which you can choose um, under the service if, if it's only some some of the items need only one port to open like port 80 you can simply just go to um, port 80 which is TCP port and uh, you can see that it, it will fill in the rest of the fields for you all you need to do just point it to the relevant IP of the um, of the device connected to your um, super hub um, if you check on your computers uh, you can see that um, what IPs are dedicated to which devices um, let's say if you have three uh, devices connected your laptop your phone and your TV normally um, the hub will dedicate three different IP addresses um, 192.168.0.2.3 or .4 to them in this case, uh, my device uh, IP address is 192.168.0.10, which is a DVR recorder. So if I just choose that and add the rule, you can see that it will be added there. So I can simply click apply and the job is done. Um, if you need to delete this port, just simply click on delete option and click apply and the port will be deleted now in this example um, I want to add the port 1234 on TCP port 4321 on UDP and uh, port 4444 on the TCP and UDP okay so I'm not gonna choose any services because these ports are not um, are not de um, defined by under any services so I'll go to the um, uh, to choose a name there and I'm gonna call them DVR1 for the first rule start port 1234 on the same at the end port TCP and the IP address 192.168.0.10 you can see that it's been added here again DVR2 I have to choose another name otherwise it wouldn't accept under the same name 4321 
under the UDP protocol, same IP address, it's added there, and then DBR3 port double four double four. And the protocol would be TCP and UDP. And the IP address stays the same. Add that there. You can see all three ports have been added. Just click apply. And the port forwarding is done. You can see the ports are still here. Thank you for watching.